Konami. Fuck Konami. Fuck Konami. Fuck Konami. Fuck Konami. Fuck Konami. Oh, Konami. What happened? Once prestigious game publisher responsible for some of the greatest games ever created, such as Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, Contra, and Castlevania, now just a shell of its former self, looking to make a quick buck on the loyalty of what fans it has left. One of the leading factors into the recent downfall of Konami was the cancellation of Silent Hills. Let's talk about that. Silent Hills was set to be the latest instalment in the critically acclaimed horror franchise Silent Hill. It had an all-star team behind its development with icons such as Hideo Kojima, Guillermo del Toro and more. It looked like it couldn't possibly fail and with the release of PT, a playable teaser for Silent Hill, hype was higher than ever. With recent entries to the Silent Hill franchise falling short of fan expectations, PT was met with huge acclaim and excitement for what was in store. But on the 26th of April 2015, Konami announced that PT was to be pulled from the PlayStation Store on the 29th, and the next day went on to announce the complete cancellation of Silent Hills itself. The cancellation was abrupt and unexpected. Coupled with this, Konami gave no explanation, leaving fans and game journalists alike puzzled and wondering exactly what happened. Del Toro went on to tell IGN that he too was confused by the cancellation, stating, Honestly, that's what surprised me. It was a sort of scorched earth approach. It was not a gentle and ambiguous cancellation. After the cancellation, Konami began to strip Kojima and his team's name from all of its products, most famously the box of Metal Gear Solid 5. The cancellation was most likely due to whatever happened between Kojima and Konami. He obviously pissed off the wrong person at Konami headquarters, and they had the power to just completely banish him from the company. Whatever happened, Konami deemed it severe enough to justify cancelling what would have likely been one of Konami's most successful releases for years. Then again, Konami is not known for conducting sensible and logical business practices. It seems to be more clueless to modern times than even Nintendo, releasing the Metal Solid HD collection on the same day as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and most recently announcing Horse Armor DLC for Metal Gear Solid 5. Yes, you heard me correctly, Horse Armor in 2015. In May 2015, Konami announced that the mobile market was to be its main focus from now on, stating, The platform that is always closest to us is mobile. Mobile is where the future of gaming lies. And after that, rumours emerged that the company was to cease AAA development completely, barring PEZ. It's now unlikely that we will see another Silent Hill game, unless, you know, <coughs> Kojima and Del Toro want to make a Kickstarter? And with all that wrapped up, all I guess there is to say is...